Let's talk Lumion 2024. We can now create even more realistic 3D renders in one minute and so much easier without the hassle of setting all the effects for each new camera. If you're not using Lumion 2024 yet, watch this video so you don't miss out on any of the new features. The biggest difference in Lumin24 is the implementation of ray tracing. With ray tracing, the scene becomes much more realistic. Light and shadows behave just like in real life. Let's have a look at a practical example. Here's a scene I've rendered in Lumin12. It's without any textures, so we can just focus on the lighting. Now compare the same scene rendered in Lumin24. Can you spot the difference? In Lumen 12, we lack contact shadows and a realistic approach to how light bounces inside. The Lumen 24 fixes this issue. You can see all the objects have correct shadows and the light bounces are very realistic. It also takes less time to set up a scene compared to older versions of Lumion. Look at this long list of effects we need to set up in order to have a decent looking interior, which by the way will never be as realistic as with Lumion 24. Now with Lumion 24 just takes about one minute to set up your scene. Don't believe me? Let's try it out. First, let's add a two-point perspective. This makes the verticals parallel. Then we add the retracing effect. And with this alone, you can see the image looks really good. Next, add the real sky. We can pick any from the list. Then make the sky a bit brighter and add a color correction effect. I always disable the outer exposure so I have better control over the lighting. Adjust some parameters and voila, with only four effects, you can have a realistic image in one minute and without the guesswork. In Lumen24, area lights now have shadows, which when added, especially by the window, give much better and a more realistic result. In Lumen12, you can add an area light by the window as well to make it better, but you see, area lights don't cast shadows in Lumen12, and this is a big issue. They improve a bit your interior, but you will lose a lot of contrast. The next big change is the effects. I already showed you the difference in time, but the way we work with the effects has changed. In Lumen12, we had essential effects like uh, reflection, skylight or shadow. All of that is in the past now. If you are using ray tracing, as soon as you have the ray tracing effect, many of the old effects won't even be selectable. We see a major difference in the color correction effect. You can see we have the LUT file first, which allows you to load a file with all the color grading information. This can change drastically the mood of the scene you are working on. The exposure is now in this color correction and you have values that are easier to understand. Before, we had limit low and limit high. And let's be honest, it was very hard to understand what this means. So now we have highlights, midtones, and shadows. Pretty standard nomenclature that everyone can understand. And what I really like now, every time you click to render a preview and change settings in the color correction effect, you see the changes in real time. You don't need to keep rendering previews. This is pretty handy. A real sky in Lumion is a 360 degree image. You can load it and apply it to a project to use its lighting. This is also called HDR and you'll also find many sites to get them for free, like Polyheaven or Polygon, for example. In Lumion 12, we had a big selection of skies we could select, but this was limited to the selection Lumion 12 provided. You couldn't import your own skies, which was kind of a bummer. However, those limitations are a thing of the past. In Lumion 24, we have the option to load a custom sky with sites like Polyheaven, Polygon or Textures.com, you are sure to find the right sky for your project. You can see how having different skies changes drastically the mood of your project. Again, compared to Lumen 12, when changing the skies, you don't see a big difference. This is especially true in interiors. As for Lumen 24, all the colors from the sky are being reflected onto the interior. Another important change is the interface. Besides having a more up-to-date dark interface, Lumen24 also has some new useful features. There's now a gizmo for easy placing, scaling and rotating objects. In older versions, you could only use the shortcuts to move an object. You had to select each icon for move, scale or rotation. Personally, I think the gizmos are way better. Another big change is the left sidebar. Here, we've got a quick access for saving a project, photo mode, video mode, 360 panorama, 
as well as the settings. This way, most of the stuff is tucked into the left side, having more space to focus on scene building, making it a more immersive experience. There's also a change in the effects. Now, all the categories are on top with new icons, and it has a new organization. And you also find the new options for changing the aspect ratio. There are several to choose from, and there's an option to select either vertical or horizontal image proportion. In Lumi 12, you would have to do this in other software in post-production. Lastly, one of my favorites is the multiple file import. This way, you can import many 3D models in one go. To learn about Lumen24 in depth, check out my Lumen Render course. I'll include the link in the description. Both Lumen 12 and 24 have tons of ready-to-use materials, but naturally Lumen 24 has much more. The biggest improvement was the glass. Now it just works. You don't need to add reflection planes like before, and if you remember, curved surfaces didn't have proper reflections. Now that's a thing of the past. All curved surfaces have the right reflections. There's also a new advanced glass. With it, you can render complex materials using the improved glass shader, and it supports colored glass shadows as well. You just need to give it a color and you will see this color in the shadows of the glass. Lumen 12 supports adding a color map, normal, gloss, and displacement. You can also add a reflectivity map, but you would have to pick between reflectivity, alpha, or emissive maps. In Lumen 24, there are two tabs for the materials library and material properties. The PBR workflow is more complete. It has a slot for reflectivity, it has one for metalness, and it has slots for opacity and emissive. Now there's subsurface scattering. It's a material that lets light shine through surfaces. And not only that, now if you have a curtain with this material and you give it a color that will also influence the room. There's also a clear coat property. It lets you add a thin coat of resin on any surface. This makes the surface quite glossy. I also have a video dedicated to Lumen PBR materials. I'll leave a link in the description below. Building tools such as line or cluster placement have been updated with more options. For example, the line tool allows for controlling each point separately. Now they can be moved vertically and there's a button to conform to ground. But the biggest improvement is the cluster placement. Now you have many customization options. You can set the number of items, the cluster range and randomness for position and direction. I like the cluster range the most. You can quickly adjust it and you can place many of the same objects with great variation. There's been a lot of interest in this for a long time, and I have made a video showing you how you can fake interiors in Lumion. You can check it up there. But now you have those directly inside Lumion with some customization options. First of all, you can see when adding them by the window of the building's interior. When you move around, it has depth. It's like a detailed room inside, but it's just a flat plane. This saves you a lot of time, so you don't need to model and place all of those objects on the interiors. You can control how bright you want a room, the size, and whether it has interior lighting or not. As always, with every new version of Lumion, there are tons of new assets like 3D models, textures, vegetation assets, from kitchen assets and new 3D people to gym equipment. What I really like most is the big update on the fine detail nature assets. These are high quality assets, which I recommend using when they are really close to the camera and in the environment mixed with some natural elements that are not so costly for the computer. Now, even though Lumion 2024 has a lot of new and exciting features, there are a couple of things I'm looking for in future updates. The wind is currently working with raster engine only. I would love to see it working with ray tracing as well. I'm looking for higher resolution outputs such as 8K or 16K. I'd like to have the advanced glass per material instead of being activated within the ray tracing effect. With the current approach, it adds the effect all over the scene, making it heavier in rendering times. When you might want to have only one object with advanced glass. And be careful when adding the advanced glass to windows. If the glass has a slight color tint, it will be reflected inside. Another aspect I would like to control is the sun radius, allowing for softer shadows on overcast days when faint sunlight filters into the room. And lastly, the 360 panorama, which works with raster, not ray tracing. If you'd like to learn more about the latest features of Lumen 2024, you can check out this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.